Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and welcome to my DVD Blu-ray video game update. So I bought a few movies from Target, one video game from Entertain Mart, and so let's talk about the big one and yes, it's right behind me, the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, and yes, you are looking right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Target. Target exclusive for the movie. This just looks so awesome. As you guys all know, I really enjoyed the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water. If you want to get more of my in-depth thoughts into what I thought about the movie, my movie review is up on my channel. I'll even leave a link to my movie review in the description below. But just to keep it short and sweet, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was really fun. It was really trippy and it just brought what I love about Spongebob so much and I know there's people that feel the new episodes just don't have the wit that the old seasons do but if you guys have been following my channel you know that I love the new season as much as I love the old ones. I love reviewing episodes of Spongebob. I love doing the review requests because I get a lot of requests to review the Spongebob episodes and having this in my hands is just awesome. If you guys followed me on Instagram I posted a picture of when I first bought this at Target and what I said in the description was this just might be the best cover to a DVD Blu-ray release ever. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a diehard Spongebob fan. I really mean that in general. I mean, look at this cover. It's Spongebob as a superhero. You have a wand behind him. I mean, that, that's awesome. It can't get any more awesome than, more than that. And then when you take off the head, it's Spongebob all plain. And also speaking of that, you guys, I did do an unboxing for this up on the Universe of the Blue Tubers channel. I had a lot of fun filming that. Definitely, definitely one of those videos I was very passionate about. If you want to check it out and see me unbox this whole entire thing, I'm going to leave it in the description below. And the other cool thing about this Target exclusive when I bought it is that on the picture there's this sticker right here and it's a sticker for you to get a Spongebob free popcorn and drink which I thought was really cool. So once I paid for this movie which was $19.99 at Target by the way, very awesome, I could go to the Target cafe and get my free popcorn and drink. In fact, let me go ahead and show you. This is what a sticker got me. So, the lesson I learned from buying the movie is if you buy the movie, I think at least the Target exclusive, you could get a free popcorn and drink if you go to the Target cafe. So, I thought that was really cool. And you can't go wrong with that, right? Mm. So yeah, it's the Target exclusive, it's Spongebob as a superhero, there's his head, the wand. Um, oh, it just feels so good to be owning this movie because I like the movie a lot, I thought it was a lot of fun, I love Spongebob, and to hold possibly the greatest cover to a DVD Blu-ray ever, it's just so awesome. So there it is, the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water. Oh, just so beautiful just so beautiful so spongy so absorbent the next movie i bought from target is the equalizer starring denzel washington i really enjoyed the equalizer i thought it was this cool thriller action film although i consider it more of a thriller film because there isn't much action the most action you get is really in the finale but when the action is there it's kick ass it's awesome but I really loved how subtle this film was. It was one of those calmer, subtle movies, and I can understand why some people are going to feel this is a slow-paced movie because it's not one of those movies where it's like fast-paced after fast-paced after fast-paced, but to me, it was a very well-done movie, and I really enjoyed it a lot. From Antoine Fuqua, I believe that's how you pronounce him. He's the director that did Training Day, which I thought was good. Uh, Olympus is Fallen, which 
um, I wasn't a fan of that one, in all honesty, but I really did like the Equalizer. I know he has Southpaw, which I'm not too sure about that movie based on the trailer, but I hope it is good. Denzel Washington just kills it in this movie. He really brings it out. It's Denzel Washington just having a ton of fun on screen. You can really feel that. Chloe Grace Moretz is really good too for that small amount of screen time that she had. Action is great. Really good storyline. Clever writing. It's just a really enjoyable flick. And it's only for $9.99 at Target. Not bad. The Equalizer. It's kick-ass. I definitely had a fun time watching it. And I look forward to watching it again. And now the last movie I bought for this update, before I get to my video game, is Non-Stop. Now, this is the second Liam Neeson, um, Jaime Colet Sierra, there you go. This is the same guy that also brought you Unknown, and behind me is um, Ronald Knight. It's up there, you can't really see it, but... Yeah, he did three movies with Liam Neeson, and out of all the three that this director has done with him so far, this is my favorite, and in all honesty, the only movie worth owning that's directed by Hame Colette Sarah, and I'm really sorry if I couldn't pronounce that right, but nonstop, I thought it was a fun time. Unknown, I thought was pretty boring. I wasn't a fan of Unknown. And if you guys see my review for Run All Night, I thought it was entertaining. It was decent. It was alright. But not a movie I would ever run out and watch ever again. Nonstop, however, when I came out of the theater, I was all like, I want to buy this movie whenever I can. And now that I own it, I look forward to watching it because this is a movie that I feel is going to have nice rewatchability. Like it's going to be a very rainy day and I have nothing to do. I could go grab hot chocolate and put in this badass flick because it's just so intense. It's fun. It's exciting. Um, it's Liam Neeson the plane. Uh, yeah, Liam Neeson, what can you say? He's He's great. He's really good at doing these action flicks. He embraces them. Yeah, you could say they're kind of the same typical, but you know, as long as they're fun, they keep you entertained, that's all that matters. And Nonstop was definitely a film that kept me entertained from beginning to end. I had a lot of fun, and I'm most certainly glad I own it. And for this being a Blu-ray and DVD, um, it was only $9.99, so that was also a great price too. Non-stop, that's all I could say. It was pretty much a non-stop kick-ass film. And now for the one video game I bought for this update, it is... Deadpool. Oh yeah, look at me, shoot. You gave me some of your ching chimichangas. Oh, this is so sweet. Damn, this game is bloody and I love it. <laughs> oh man, Deadpool, you are a badass. Oh yeah, that's how I roll. Stop it, bitch! Stop it! Mm. Like that? That's what I thought. <laughs> now, I bought this at Entertain Mart for only $17.99. I don't know if the camera is focused. Yeah, there you go. $17.99 for this game. I blind bought it as I normally do with video games because um, you know, it's not really often I get excited for the game and another story is that I actually went to the store because I heard the PS3 version of Mortal Kombat was supposed to come out like around June 5th and then guess what? The last minute, the last minute, I barely find out that Mortal Kombat X, the PS3 version, got delayed. Yeah, you had me really excited. For nothing but my brother and I do have an Xbox one so I'm gonna probably just buy the Xbox one for Mortal Kombat X because there's no way in hell 
I'm going to wait until December just to play that game, all right? I've been too pumped enough to play it. So that was a bummer when I just barely found out the last minute, even though the article about it was posted like about a week ago. I don't know if it's delayed or if it is, but I think it's most likely delayed until December. So with that being said, I'm all like, okay, what's a game that could really entertain me. I looked through the video game section in Entertainment and I found this. And you know with the Deadpool movie coming out in February 2016, not only can I play this game to have fun, but it could give me more background of what Deadpool is all about because I don't have the comic book knowledge. I watch these comic book movies and judge them as movies. <sighs> this game. This might have been one of the best blind buys ever. I just saw the cover, I was sold based on this cover, I bought it, and it's probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. The violence, it's really cool. Deadpool is really funny. He actually makes me laugh at the one-liners he would say while I'm playing this game. Beautiful graphics and a nice atmosphere that was really built to this game. It's definitely kick-ass. So I'm definitely having a lot of fun with this game. Looks really great. It definitely cheered me up because I was going to buy Mortal Kombat X for the PS3. And, you know, I just get the news it's delayed. So this cheered me up because of one, it is very violent. It's rated M for a reason. But it's so much fun. Sometimes it's hard to put down the controller because it's so addictive. This game is awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, it's definitely awesome. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know. What did you think of the SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water? Damn, I love this cover so much. The Equalizer, Nonstop, and the video game, Deadpool. Also, you guys, like I said earlier, I did do an unboxing for the SpongeBob movie Sponge Out of Water on the Universe of the Blue Tubers channel. I hope you guys can check that out because I had a lot of fun. It was just a very great video to film, especially with me being very passionate about SpongeBob. So, thanks for watching, everyone. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!